trying to cut a little concave facet on it right now. Okay. She is. So this is cutting process or polish process? This is cutting. This is cutting. I put uh, 1200 grit diamond on the okay. copper lap. Okay. Copper 1200. On the copper mandrel. And you can see it's just starting to cut right at the bottom there. Yeah. Uh, it's showing some color also, the polish. Well, it, there's oil in the diamond. Oh, I see, I see. And so I'm sure that's making it shiny. <laughs> so it'll cut further out on the fast. How much time it will take normally? Um, once you get the machine set up, yeah. To cut a facet, of course I wouldn't start with 1200 grit. I'd start with 600 grit. Okay. And and just you know I don't know a minute or two. I see. Until the money runs And this pre-forming you did on this machine or the? On the V5. V5. Oh, so I've locked it in at 44.18. I'm going to set it with this micro adjuster down to 44.0. And now you can see the stone's going to come off the end of the mandrel, so I have to move it in further. So I'm going to turn this adjustment to slide the stone in. And now I'm going to lower it. And the stone is way behind the cutter now. I don't know why that is. Uh, push the cutter back so it falls in the middle of the facet on the stone. So you normally want this to be the middle in the middle, huh? It depends. Okay. It just depends on what you want to accomplish. I see, I see. For me, I just want to establish a concave facet on the pavilion of the stone. And I can see I've gone back too far, so I'm going to bring it back out a little bit. Okay. And because the shiny spot is at that edge of the facet, yeah. I want to swing it back this way a little further. Okay. And this is a synthetic stone or? Um, I think this is synthetic, huh? For practice purposes. This stone is an amethyst, I believe. Okay. Which is not synthetic. Okay. And the stone, the stone wasn't cut in this head like it normally would be over there and then oh, yeah, transported yeah. over here. This yeah. is just one I brought from home. I see. And so, so it isn't aligned quite properly, but there you can see where the oil is not, yeah. is where the concave is cutting. I see. Grid. Okay. Ultimately, you'll go to a fifty. So this grid also start from two sixty. Say what? This grid. 
Uh, this grit was 1200, but normally I'd start with 60. 60, okay. Awesome. And you go till 3000 3, on this? I do 600, 1200, yeah. and I often will go right from 1200 to 50,000. I just thought you were Sometimes I'll do a 3000 in between. Okay. Depend on the material you are cutting. And how the cutting is going. Right. So practically you have two machines, one V5 and one V. Correct. Yeah. Actually I have five machines. Really? And how I, many? I teach faceting. Okay. And and so I have machines to teach on. Okay. Okay. To capture your creativity, huh? This stone was preformed to have eight main facets around it. Okay. And and so I moved twelve notches to okay. the next facet on a ninety-six tooth gear. And, and there's the next concave facet coming in. I see, yeah, I got it. And just as a control for depth of cut, yeah. I'm watching the digital angle digital display, angle. and I'm cutting to 44.0. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I was a district ranger when I retired. I got brought on my fire management officer in Tennessee. So I just tried off the girdle in this. Oh, okay. Sign this over the door. Um, yeah. How long has he done it? So, if you cut a oh, concave on the pavilion, Okay. Stick with it. And you cut a concave on the crown, a hell of a time. Okay. and then yeah. you cut a concave on the girdle, yeah. it makes one flat yeah. curved yeah. line for the girdle. Of an ideal day. Like and yeah. actually I can show you one. Fish, taking okay. the night measurements, resuscitating them, and then going back down the hill. Yeah. Yeah. Is he fighter? Um, he is not fighter or fire qualified. It's not that hard to get. I, well, I know, I know, but he doesn't want to be fire qualified either. But he goes out as a resource advisor, as a fish. Well, so if you look well, at the right girdle, now, been really yeah. studying, you'll see it uh, creates a flat girdle. Yeah, oh, oh, I, I mean, it's yeah. well, it's a hell, concave yeah. girdle, but it's yeah. even yeah. width yeah. all the you way know, around it's the curve. security where I come from. That's excellent. Centered now. You can see where the, the facet really is centered on the pavilion facet on the stone. Now I'll repeat that eight times around the stone, okay. and I'll have a perfectly scalloped pavilion all the way around. Mm -hmm. Diamond on the cutter, okay. so that it lubricates the stone and, and doesn't scratch. So it was not important to first clean this with tissue, or it's not matter. It doesn't matter. What I really need is a uh, paper towel, but but I don't have that. So this this is my card. That's Scott's card. So is that reading zero zero yet? Uh, two. You got one. It's bouncing between one and two. Okay. Shouldn't be on the dial indicator. Or the digital angle display. 